TikTok has caved. It will now allow you to reset the algorithm and stop unwanted stuff from being fed to you. This is big news if you've found your content has gone a little bit rogue. No matter what platform you're on, many of us have found ourselves stuck in an endless loop. <laughs> If the algorithm decides that you like cake, it will serve you cake for a breakfast, lunch and dinner. Same deal with your music choices. Listen to the first beats of... And suddenly, you're the biggest Dave Matthews fan on the internet. He wakes up in the morning. Here we go! This could be it! Maybe you casually watched UFC just the once to try and get closer to your team. Or wondered where the hot and hot yoga came from. But watch one, you served another, and another. Because I watch like a lot of football, my yeah. feed is like always full of football. Yeah. But then other than that, it's like satire memes and like whatnot. <laughs> yeah. Makeup, lots makeup? of lots of makeup. Polynesian TikToks. Hailey Bieber and like, <laughs> <laughs> like I swear to God, if I open my phone page, it's just gonna be more of that. But like I keep liking it, so it's like you know. <laughs> I liked one thing about like American politics, and now it's there every single day. It's like social media doesn't know you at all. Joining us now is tech commentator Ian Howard. Now, Ian, how can we control what's on our feed? Is there anything at all we can do to reboot it? Yeah, there definitely are some things that you can do. Um, firstly, if there is content being served up that you don't want to be served up, for goodness sake, don't watch it. If you're on a social media platform that allows you to feed back on it, to block it, to um, you know, thumbs down it, or do something that says this is not content that's valuable to me, do that because the algorithm will, will then learn that this isn't something you want to see. Go and have a look at the people that you're following because, uh, as, as I've said, like the feed isn't just what you've watched. It's also the people that you're following. And so the algorithm's going to do this lookalike modelling where they say, well, you're following these people. You, you, know, you must have similar likes to them. Clean out some of those people who might be um, you know, cluttering your feed up. I like literally reboot your feed. So TikTok have just launched something where you can kind of reset the entire feed and almost reset mm. the algorithm so that um, you know, it no longer has any information about you. It's more difficult on the other social media platforms, but if worse comes to worse, delete your account and start again. Ian, how would you explain just how these algorithms work to a non-digital native? It's just collecting all the data that it knows about you. And it's pretty dumb, is the honest truth of it. So what it doesn't have is, you know, empathetic judgment like people do. And those algorithms fundamentally don't care what you do. All they care about is that you keep your attention on their platform. Um, that's fundamentally all they're incentivized to do, is make sure that you are watching their content over and over again for as long as it's humanly possible, because that's their model. You know, it's all about the attention economy. So, um, yeah, it'll be everyone that you follow, uh, all the channels that you subscribe to, all the content that you watch gets fed into a big blender and then gets played out the other side uh, with the promise that you'll watch more of it. Ian, the vibe I'm getting from you is it's our fault. <laughs> However, <laughs> might I just argue that I have other people in my household. I've got my daughter watching gymnastics videos, my wife watching Greatest Moments on Grey's Anatomy. What hope does my algorithm have? Yeah, well, you're in trouble there. Unfortunately, the algorithm won't differentiate between those. So, you know, enjoy your ballet videos, Jesse, or whatever it is that you're being served up. Um, yeah, look, I, I have the same thing at home, actually. So my wife and I, um, you know, have a Netflix account. We've set up our own profiles. Um, all the, you know, smart sort of cerebral documentary stuff, I make sure we watch through my profile so that when I get served stuff up, uh, you know, it's all it, it makes me look good. Uh, she gets all the rom-coms and trashy stuff that I'm not interested in. Um, so all about building my social status. Yeah, not interested in, but actually watching <laughs> yeah, in, in the background you know whilst pretending to read this might be a naive question but is instagram for instance following me if i've got it on my phone but i'm not using it is it looking at what else i'm doing while i've got it there well, yeah, I mean, the simplest answer to that is uh, it depends on your privacy um, settings. Oh. So, yes, they can. Uh, the problem, I think, is exactly that, that most people aren't informed as to exactly how you use those settings um, and what you can and can't do. And so there's a kind of value exchange that's going on at the moment that isn't explicit, um, where people are giving up probably a lot more than they realise they are. Hey, Ian, thanks so much for your expertise tonight. Sitting next to me again, get off the cave. Um, 
And I will say, Di, you are a bit of a tech commentator yourself, so what's your take on this whole algorithm mm. scandal? Well, I, I rock quite a um, streamlined algorithm, algorithm of Buddhist monks, rugby league <laughs> and hydroponic <laughs> growing. <laughs> of, uh, no, yeah, of, growing. of, like, lettuces and um, other salad greens. Um, <laughs> right. I, I'm, you've got to be very staunch on holding, if it's TikTok, holding down, saying not interested or liking it. Okay. But it's yours to control. Mm.